Hi everybody, we are here over at 1608, 1610, and 1612 Dolores. Uh, it is a three unit building or three tenancy and plumbing units that are on the market uh, with Joe and Rafael over at Compass. And we're gonna see each unit um, very individually priced and collectively priced as a building. I can't remember the prices now. I think something, uh, we'll figure it out later, but you'll see in the captions or whatnot too. So first unit is unit 1612. It's on slightly off the ground floor, it's the lowest of the three. You first come in, you'll see over there is the living space, and over here are your bedrooms. First bedroom here faces Dolores Street. It's actually pretty quiet. Not too bad, right? Over here, second bedroom. A nice size there, nice fixtures, nice closet as well. And then you've got your bathroom here. I love the little hex floors. I like the stone on the uh, on the walls here, and got this nice sort of design feature here, great medicine cabinet, great floating vanity as well. And you've got this nice uh, black hardware theme in here. You've got this room here, and it also is en suite, which is really nice. Shower with tub, nice deep tub. Ooh, that's even cool, a little black drain. I like that little detail too. And there you are with the light. Now the nice thing is because it is a relatively new, I think they tore everything apart and rebuilt everything inside. But because there are three units, and because it's tall, there are sprinklers in the building. So see here, now we're going to the common area over here. There's one of our happy short names, Danny Fernandez. Not her name. <laughs> and then you've got the living area here too. Um, the nice thing, this one has the exclusive use of the backyard as how the TIC agreement is structured currently. <clears throat> and it's really nice. Serene, pretty, pretty private. And really spacious, it's really nice. And then, here's the view for this side too. You've got different light fixtures up here. The recess lights over here, four here. Can always change those out if you want. Um, nice <clears throat> gas light and stove with a good hood here. You've got nice sink, deep sink, dishwasher, nice deep cabinets as well. And you've got your refrigerator here as well. If you ever want a taller one, you can always do something with that. But Fisher and Pico was very nice. You've got laundry in here, water here, and a little closet here. So this is unit 1612. We'll pause and we'll go to the next one. Now we're on to our way to unit 1610. So we're going up the floor and 1610. And you'll see a similar layout. First you come in, you've got your bedroom here. Similar finishes. Bathroom here, instead of one vanity, you have two. Bedroom one. And bedroom two. And this is the living area up here. So notice, similar layout, very different in terms of the light and feel. Now this way you just get the deck, and all of them come with parking, which we'll show you in a little bit, the garage. But take a look at this. Really nice. Quiet again too. The yard looks down there. Of course the people downstairs have the yard. And up here, you have the deck, which we'll see in a second. So just the feeling of light is very different on here. So that's why the people downstairs get the yard. You guys get the light and the deck. And it's just a really great feel. Let's take a look at that. I love the floors. I love the sort of the efficiency of it all too. All right, let's go up to the top floor. Now we are coming up to the top floor, which has preliminarily in contract, it's spoken for, but there is a possibility that, well, you never know. So maybe somebody wants to get the whole building or whatnot, but let's go here. So this is only a two bedroom, two bath. So here's the first bedroom. Here's the second bedroom. Take a look at the views out there. Nice towards Bernal Hill. And then over here, oh, let's take it here. Bathroom here. So this one has the ensuite, that one doesn't, but that one does have another bathroom right here. Sometimes, you know, design and efficiency are the same too, but this is what we wanted to show you. This is the top floor of the light, but same thing, oh, this is the same. Take a look at this, the view. Now that's something. Just the difference of just maybe five or 10 feet. Again, back down there, back down there. And 
and up here. Just really, really cool. So yes, these are listed with Joe and Raphael over at Compass. 1608, 1612 Dolores. This is, of course, Kevin Ho at Vanguard Properties doing the walkthrough with you and for you. And if you have any questions, um, obviously, or if you need fire representation, give us a call. Um, it's just a really cool area. It's close to 280, close to relatively close to public transit. The J Line's over just a block over on Church Street. And, you know, it's just a really cool vibe and cool feel. I just really think it's it's super cool and it's just great that they are able to do this and create more housing. All right, Kevin and Jonathan.com. Thanks for watching. Three car parking at least. So take a look here. It's my friend Max here for scale. Yeah, it's really big. You can tell they did the improvements here. There's obviously a more robust and newer foundation. Here are some of the drain pipes from before. Cast iron here. There's one moment frame, I believe. There's some steel there. And back over here, here's the second one too. You've got three meters, and then you've got three water meters, and you've got three power meters, and then the fourth for the uh, common areas of the building. And look at that thing too. Also, because it's so tall, it should be sprinkled, and I think that's what that is. Really just robust, yep, sprinklers right here. That's why it's such a robust, um, uh, a robust house too. The systems are, are pretty substantial. It might not be the sexiest thing in the world, but it's super important too. These are the storage units, in case you couldn't tell. Mm, decent area to store. And yes, so let's go. We'll take a look at the rest of the place.